But a lot of Burmese people would rather choose to live illegally in Thailand than to live in their own country because they're a lot safer. They flee from fighting and from uh, for political reasons from their country. The migrant population is just, I would call them economic refugees. Spark Circus is a group of international volunteer circus performers. We gather from about 10 different countries and we spend anywhere from two weeks to a month of each year teaching and playing with refugee children, migrant children, um, orphans and some of the Thai schools in the Mesot region of Thailand. We do a day show for the kids that's pretty silly and fun and then we go into some workshops and play shops of all different kinds of circus skills and then in the evening we bust it out with a fire show. There are a lot of really wonderful non-governmental organizations in Mesot that work to help provide them with their basic needs, food, shelter, education. But I noticed maybe about five years ago when I began this that there weren't very many people paying attention to what I consider the most essential need of children, which is to play. Some of the kids here, they never see a pen when we give the first time. They are very, very poor. So for them, it's amazing. It's very, very important. I think they speak about this for a year. Maybe when they are told that one day, a circus come to my center. The refugees and the migrant children in this area are often have gone through considerable trauma. They have limited um, family support, if any at all. Many are orphaned. Most of the schools that I bring the circus and the play days to are the people that are the, the least advantaged. Through play, we develop everything about ourselves. We learn about the space around ourselves. We learn about our bodies. We learn how to develop skills, cooperate in a group compete effectively, we can lose ourselves for moments in our imagination and our creativity. Play is really the key developmental component for children and these children don't get a lot of it. A kid can just pick up a peacock feather and balance it on its hand straight away. So it's, it's really satisfying because immediately you've got the, this sense of achievement. The children have absolutely no status whatsoever. They have no papers to say that they're Burmese. They have no papers to say they're Thai and they can't get them. They have no birth certificates. So these kids are nobody's kids. You know, people say, oh, can we come over and adopt them? We'd like, you know, I know lots of people who'd like to adopt a child. These children are not adoptable. It tries to work together with various organizations that protect the children um, and give them a safe space to be and to learn and to offer them some hope for the future. I have to say I'm more a juggler than a clown, and, but since technical juggling doesn't help any seven-year-old child to love, it, it's, it, it became more and more necessary to, to turn into the role of, of a clown and just be a clown. I'm 
Hey, you Three years old and I come from France. I was very surprised when I came here. The children almost don't have um, a childhood. Hello! Yeah! 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 All of my volunteers are completely donating all of their time. They're paying for their own transportation, their own accommodation, their own food, and many of them have actually brought with them the donations of toys that we give away. I, I really enjoy teaching without words because a circus is such a physical thing, it doesn't need words you, most of the time. You can just show them something, it's like, okay, well, you to look there, and do this, and it's gonna work. And they do it, and they're like, yeah, that's great. <laughs> What kid doesn't want to run away and join the circus, especially on the other side of the world? That was quite exciting. There is there is a lot of hard times in the circus, it's, it, especially the reality that you actually see. Here you get the reality in your face, you cannot avoid it, but it's worth it. It feels like these kids are so ready for just someone to come in and bring joy into their lives, and they really respond, and it's amazing to be on, on my end. We are so many and we just come and go completely wild and in the beginning sometimes they're really shy. But once you started like little flirting with them, they really open their hearts and they go completely crazy. And by the end of the day they're, they're really crazy. This has been way more than I expected as far as like emotionally. You see so much joy and gratitude. I never cried <laughs> a lot of times. If you want to do it, you're going to find a way to do it. Of course I would be happy staying on the beach. Bad, you appreciate it for a while and I've done that for a while and I really enjoy seeing happy kids. I had one kid today hug me goodbye five times. It doesn't get much better than that. And I can walk away from this project knowing that you know, I, I did something good. You cannot imagine how happy we are after working one day with them and having the experience of uh, collaborating and cooperating and playing together. I said uh, in, uh, in the middle of the show I was uh, beginning crying because uh, the, I saw all my children so happy. I really thank you for, uh, for coming to perform them. <laughs> they are our children. <laughs> I was very lucky to have a childhood and be able to play like they're doing and really the, the children are very happy today. <laughs> It's a language which everybody understands, like all over the world. Playing, everyone wants to play. <laughs> yeah.